So differential equations are something you're already familiar with. This is a differential equation because it's got a dy dx in it. This is also a differential equation. It's the second derivative. So it's got d squared y over dx squared equals sine x. That's a differential equation. Now we're talking about solving a differential equation. When you solve a differential equation, it just means that you get it in such a form that there's no dy dx in it anymore and there's no d squared y dx squared anymore. Now a very fast example of this, if we were asked to solve dy dx equals 2x, we would just take the integral, so y is going to be the integral of 2x with respect to x, which is going to be x squared, y equals x squared plus c. We've solved it. Now, we've actually come up with a particular type of solution called the general solution. Now, it's called the general solution because it refers to the family of functions that are the solution to this differential equation. Now, we can also find particular solutions if we have more information. All right, let's just do a few examples. You've done this before. So here's a question. Find the general solution, general solution, that means there's going to be a plus c in it, of graph with gradient e to the 2x. All right, so if a graph has a gradient of e to the 2x, that means that the derivative with respect to x equals e to the 2x, which means that our solution to this differential equation is going to be y equals the integral of e to the 2x with respect to x. Now that's y equals 1 half e to the 2x plus c. It's our general solution. It's a family of graphs that fit in with this information. What if we wanted a particular solution? So this is the sort of question, a particular solution given it passes through point 0, 0,3. We just sub 0, 0,3 into our solution and solve for c. All right, so I've subbed in 3 for y and 0 for x. That's going to be 3 equals a half times 1 half. 3 equals a half plus c. So c equals 3 minus 1 half, which is 2 and a half or 5 over 2. Our final particular solution to this equation is y equals 1 half e to the 2x plus 5 over 2. This is what we mean by a general solution versus a particular solution. So what if you had a uh, differential equation that was a second derivative? Well, you're going to have to go through that process twice, but when you do that, you're going to get a C value and a D value. All right, but let's not go there yet. First of all, if our second derivative is that, then dy dx is going to be the integral of that. Now, the integral of a polynomial is trivial, so I'm not going to bore you with how to do that. So there are our three terms, but don't forget there's this plus c on the end, and there's the little twist in the tail on these questions. All right, now that I know that dy dx is that, I'll know that y is equal to the integral of all of that. Now, again, the integral of that, that, and that are trivial, so I'm not going to make you watch me do those. It's the integral of the c that you might have a little bit of trouble with, now, c is just a number. I don't know what the number is, but it's definitely a number, like 5 or 7 or negative 10. Um, now, the integral of any number is just uh, that number x. So the integral of 5 is 5x, the integral of 9 is 9x, so the integral of c is cx. Now, that was a constant number, but we also then have another constant on the end here, our plus d. So you need to be careful when you're finding the general solution of a derivative that is a second derivative because you're going to have this c and this d that you're going to have to follow through. But what if you wanted to find the particular solution of a derivative that was a second derivative? Now, I've changed the question. Different question, right? Same equation, but this time we're finding a particular solution and I've given you some information here. If you're finding a differential equation, a uh, second derivative differential equation, you're trying to solve a particular solution, you're going to need a lot of information. Here you've got one piece of information, and here you've got another piece of information. And you can use one piece of information in dy dx, and we can use the other piece of information in just y. All right, now I've left this working here because this is also important stuff. Our first step is still the same, dy dx is going to be the integral of that, so that is dy dx. And this is where our solutions diverge a little bit, because at this stage I can say, right, wait a minute, I have a piece of information. I know that dy dx equals 3 when x equals 0. So I can sub 0 in here and sub 3 in for dy dx. Now when I do that, it's pretty obvious what happens. 
dy dx is equal to 3. Subbing 0 in for x, 0 in for x, and 0 in for x is a 0, a 0, and a 0. So 3 equals 0 plus c, c equals 3. All right, that feels pretty good. That means that I can use that c equals 3 information in my next line of working because I've been told using that that c is equal to 3. So I can get rid of that and say that that's 3, which means that my new y equation is no longer this. It's this, but instead of cx, it's 3x. All right, so now we can employ our last piece of information here, y1 equals 9. That means when we have an x value of 1, our y value is 9. So we simply sub x equals 1 and y equals 9 into this equation and we'll be able to solve for d. So when we do that, we get 1 half minus 1 half plus 2 plus 3 plus d. And it's not hard to see that d equals 4. And we are finished. We now know our particular solution. So our particular so solution is just y with our c value of 3 put in there and our d value of 4 put in there. Okay, that's our solving differential equation.